Uh, just getting home here. This is Dolce. Dolce. She's the uh, dominant female kind of corso. There's Tex. Tex is my pit bull mix. Tex. Come on, Tex. And then Ozzy is the big boy. Uh, alpha male, about three years old. We make sure to water all the plants every day. <laughs> and then this is uh, finally uh, Lucia. Lucia! She's, she looks like Ajay's mini-me, but she's actually only nine months old. Goodness gracious. She's almost as tall as Ozzy. I still can't get over how big she is for her age. Uh, but she's totally unrelated to Ozzy. Lucia! And, um, yeah, so... She's just going to be a really big girl. So that's, uh, that's the pack. That's the entire pack. Um, so I did some weed eating. Uh, I got to take the leaf blower to it, but I did some weed eating this weekend. Uh, finally got the, uh, the weed eater, weed whacker, uh, fixed. And I'm not done with this section of the yard yet. Still gotta, still gotta do this section. This is probably the biggest section over here. But yeah, look how tall this grass came. It uh, sprung up pretty quickly here. Because we had a lot of rain a couple months ago and just took off. Ah, I see. Lucia, hi baby girl. Lucia. Man, y'all. Best part of the day right here is getting home to my pack. Um, but yeah, I'll show you all I'll show y'all which part of the yard I got done yesterday. Yesterday was Sunday. So I got this little section trimmed up so right here I'd really like to put down four big uh, vegetable garden containers here because they get full sun and I left my euphorbia standing because I think they look so cool no, Jay. see the, that uh, tall plant right there it grows wild out here it's called a uh, euphorbia snow on the mountain because it produces a little white looks like a snow cloud flower yeah they are so cool they are just the coolest plant and they're not even done growing so they get pretty tall so i left the, i left those come on tex let's go see come on so yeah i've got this trimmed up here i oh, those euphorbia Aren't they just so cool? I don't know if you can see them all. Come on, Ozzy. Ozzy. <clears throat> so, um, wanted to talk a little bit about, um, uh, do Cane Corso drool? It's always a big question. I talked about it in an earlier video. Uh oh Someone's about to throw seed, three throw seed somewhere. But yeah, I talked about it in an earlier video. And, uh, but it's been a while since I really talked about it. And so, uh, I wanted to kind of talk about my experience with, I've got three of them. I got one male, Ozzy, and two females, Lucia and Dolce. So interestingly, they don't all drool the same amount. Someone asked me that too. They were asking if there's a difference between male and female um, in how much they drool. And honestly, I don't know if that plays a part, if gender plays a part in it. My guess is no. My guess is that gender does not play a role in how much a kind of corso will drool. It may be just variations specific to the individual is my guess, but I would say on average, 
Lucia does not drool very much. And Dolce, you know, interestingly, she doesn't really drool as much as Ozzy. Uh, and again, I don't think that's um, due to gender, although <laughs> both of my females drool less than Ozzy. But Ozzy is the biggest and he produces, you know, the most everything. <laughs> He's 150 pounds, whereas, you know, Dolce is only 110 pounds. Lucia's only nine months and she's about 100 pounds already. She's going poop right there. But, um, but see how she's very hot right now? And you see there, there's very little drool coming out her mouth. Uh, and let's see, Ozzy. Let's look at Ozzy's mouth. Putting you on the spot, Ozzy. Um... Yeah, so, for example, right now, none of them are really drooling, per se. You know, they're not really dripping with strings of drool. But, if they get to running here, which they probably will in a minute, they uh, you'll start to see them drool a little bit. Man, I've got to really trim up this section of the yard. I've got to do it in stages, because it's a big job. It's about two acres, just under two acres. But anyways, let's see. Um, yeah, the other thing, and I'll show you when I go inside here with them. I'm going to let them get their sparring session out here. This is their mosh pit. Yeah, I'll show you inside what I, what I do to um, kind of help clean up the drool. I just figured a system out. But I would say... The, um, I would say the most common times that, that they drool, uh, would be, uh, when they're really hot and, uh, you know, after some activity like running, sparring. Let me see, Ozzy, let me see, let me see, Papa, let me see, Papa, come uh, sparring, of course, like these two females. We'll see after they're done wrestling. We'll see how much they're drooling. Um, I would say the biggest, the the biggest one for the drooling, it would be. Would be when uh, they're eating, before and after they eat, before, during, and after they eat. <laughs> She got another correction. And she doesn't learn. Get her ass. You tell her. She's very energetic. She, she's still in the puppy stage. Ozzy's being very, uh, I would say, lenient on her. Um, Dolce is more strict with her. I feel like a lot of, a lot of times the female conicorsos are more strict. <laughs> you found a toy? You want me to throw this toy? Okay, I see what you're saying. You're trying to tell me something. Give me this toy. Dolce. Lucia. But, uh, so... Yeah, where they drool the most is when they're running, uh, any strenuous activity. Okay, here we go. Let me see Lucia. See that? There you go. Where is it? You see that drool? I don't know if I caught it on camera, but that's that's the about the amount of drool. And she is female, so it's not really gender specific she's drooling she's actually drooling a little more than dolce Do dolce drools the least um dolce is not drooling at all right now and they were both sparring uh, probably equal amounts of energy exerted so dolce so what you know it doesn't bother me the drool doesn't really bother me Aside for aside from, you know, it's kind of a pain cleaning it up. But as far as being grossed out at it, I really don't get 
grossed out at all. I mean, but uh, let's look at Ozzy. Ozzy. Dolce. See, I, I do see some drool going fly, flying over there. Okay, Papa. Nucci. Let me see. Dolce, sit. Sit down. Sit. Sit. Good sit, girl. Good girl, Dolce. Uh, 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 uh. Sit. Uh, uh. Sit down. Sit. Good girl. Good sit. Uh, uh. Good girl, Dolce. Lucia. Sit. Lucia, sit. Good sit, girl. Good girl. Ready? Go get it. Um, but and then of course Tux, being the pit bull mix, he doesn't drool, drool at all. Never seen him drool. It's not really in his. You know, the breed doesn't really drool uh, as much. But but yeah, like I said, so some people it's just a squeamish thing. They they just can't stand. Like some people can't stand the sight of blood. Uh, they can't stand. It makes them nauseous even to look at you. So. I think that she's flirting with him, is my guess. She's also being a little bit submissive to him, but I think that she, um, she's about to come into heat and the I would say in a couple months, maybe. Probably in about two two months, she'll be coming in the heat. And uh, I think that she knows, maybe she knows that she can breed with him. Luchi, doce, doce. But, so, yeah, like, you know, the drool, other, other than me having to clean up the walls and everything it really is not a, a problem for me hi papa i missed my baby boo i missed my baby boo see oh you better not bark at me girl mm -mm. Mm -mm. see um yeah i was trying to get them on the camera side by side so you can see who's drooling uh oh <laughs> Lucia. Oh, she got something stuck in her. She might have a blade of a blade of grass or something stuck in her. And what is a baby girl? Dolce. Dolce. She's very demanding. She's like, play with me. Uh-uh. Give me this chew. Oh, I'm gonna get it. Oh, I see Ozzy oh, sees something. Where is it, Papa? But yeah, those are really the you know the main times that they drool. So when they're when they're not um, exerting any energy or anything, they really don't. They really don't drool. But it's all relative, you know what you think is too much, and what you think is not a lot. What you see, Papa? What you see, Papa? What you see, us? What is it, Papa? He's got his eye on something out there. What was it, Papa? Huh? I got it. Oh, got it when you weren't looking. Luchi! Good girl, Luchi. Go get it. Dolce is raring to go. She's chomping at the bit. Yeah, she has got some stamina, man. She's very, very athletic. I think, yeah, these two females, females are the, the most athletic. Ready, Dolce? Go get it. Look at her jumping in the air. She'll catch a ball like mid, mid air. A lot of times she'll just catch it mid air. But this little girl, this Lucia, man, she's also 
extremely athletic and she can jump so high. Well, anyway, I'm gonna, um, because this video is getting long, I'm going to, um, I'll show you inside here what I, what I was talking about with the drool and what I do. Come on, us. Come on, Lucia. Oh, shoot. Okay, let me show you inside here. Come on, Uchi. Come on, us. Come on, baby girl. Yeah, that whole area there, I gotta take the weed whacker too. Just look at these euphorbia. So cool looking. Can't wait till they bloom. Oh yeah, and then this area right here, I trimmed up pretty good. I just gotta take the leaf blower and blow all that debris out. So let me show you inside here. Okay, y'all, so I want to show you kind of what I mean about the uh, the drool in, inside my, my home here. So, what I was going to show you is on the wall. So, I actually bought this attachment, um, this little oscillating scrubber to clean the walls. So, it's, it looks kind of like like this, you know, and then this is the attachment that I use. It's like a foam brush. And then there's also a, a cloth brush that you can use. And then you just hold it to the wall and it kind of spins around and, and buffs, buffs out anything on the wall, which has made my life easier. But with that done, I did, all, I did that particular thing. I did that yesterday, Sunday. So I'm just getting home now with the dogs and look what's on the wall already. So just to show you here. Drool, drool, a drooler dog right there and another drooler right here. <laughs> I have even seen drool all the way at the top of that mirror because what happens is that um, when they come inside after they've been playing, the, the, you know how dogs will shake their head? When they shake their head, those jowl, those loose jowls, they will, um, you know, fling, they will fling uh, drool high up all over the wall or even onto the ceiling. And these are like 10 foot ceilings, but. So uh, they, it's like a projectile. <laughs> the drool is like a projectile. It reaches all the way up there sometimes. Um, but so yeah. It's uh, it's worked, you know. If you do have this breed and you and you like to keep a semi clean house, uh, it is more work than than you otherwise will have to work, even with another breed. More work than most breeds. Let me look at this one right here. It drives me crazy because I like to keep a really clean house. Uh, but the thing is, it's just it's worth it to me. It's worth the extra work. And. Um, that's easy enough to clean. Like this, this is just a spot clean. I just wipe it down. But, ah, see, hi, Papa. See, oh, I forgot, to, I don't know if I mentioned it. I think I did after that eat and drink. See, see, Lucia just took a big gulp of water. I heard her in there. But see, look at the floor now. See, all the water that she drips from her, from her mouth. Now, I have heard some people say that they won't feed or water their dogs indoors because of that. But I'm not going to retain, I'm not going to um, keep water outside because they're going to, they live inside most of the time. So um, I'm not going to withhold water just because I want a clean floor. Um, I think that would be kind of cruel. But some people do that. Um, and, the, and I don't feed outside because I don't want to attract ants. Oh, so this is what I, this is the other kind of hack that I'm doing. Hi, Papa. Hi, my Papa. I'll show you, I'll show you what I got. Papacito. Mm. Hi, Papa. I got another little kind of hack. Um, well, y'all know, probably if you've been watching a while, what I feed them. 
in the mornings I feed them uh, a raw frozen steak and that's I'll show you it's a beef shank like this it's got this huge marrow bone in the middle of it and this has four in it so it's eleven dollars for four so you know relatively cheap you know so almost like three less than three dollars a, a steak which is pretty cheap if you ask me um you know compared to other steak cuts of steak but i bought these things they are made for like kids who are still potty training um, this one's dirty because they ate their steak on it, but this is waterproof and I have it in the laundry room. I'm going to wash it, but it has this grippy surface here and it's waterproof and it's good also for puppies that are, that may have an accident in the house and you could, and you just throw it in the wash and it's bloody there because they had a raw steak on it. But what I'm going to do now, what I started to do is when I feed them their kibble, um, when I feed them their kibble, I usually mix in a little bit of uh, chicken, shredded chicken, in water, no sodium. I'll just, like maybe half a cup, I'll mix it in there. And, uh, and I usually feed them here with these raised bowls. And then when Ozzy eats, there is like slimy slobber all over the ground and mixed in with, you know, pieces of kibble that fell out from his from his uh, floppy jaws. <laughs> ah, see. So his jaws. But so what I do, what am I do now is I put this long waterproof mat here and then I put their food, their four food bowls on top of that. And, uh, and then that catches everything. And then it's so easy. I just throw that in the wash. I'll just kind of hand pick up any lo loose pieces of kibble and all that slimy slobber stuff just throw it right in the wash so cleanup is easy so you can it's manageable you know the breed is a messy breed relative to other breeds but if you have a system down you know you'll learn little hacks like that that make your life much easier and so I have um the square version of this long one I bought like a bunch of you know kind of half that size in a square that fits over these dog beds and I do the same. I used to put a fitted sheet, but it's pretty bulky. So now I, I bought those. Just fit that little square. And uh, and, I, and that's what I did when I got home. I picked it up and I put it in the wash. So so that stays nice and clean. And then, you know, for the, for the floors, I have a vacuum robot, which works really nicely. Hi, Papa. And... Uh, but the, the thing with that vacuum robot is if you don't run it daily or like every other day at least, then it's almost too much dirt. You have to keep changing it every 10 minutes. And then at that point, you might as well just sweep it. But um, this is my laundry room. Uh, so, yeah, so this is what I use here. This is called Robo Rock. There's other ones, you know, Roomba. This one actually has a little mop, light, very light mop function on it. And then for their doggy door, I used to put just a simple mat, but now I put this huge, this huge cover here. I have this nice rug that when it was raining outside to prevent this from getting muddy, I just put this down and it catches most of the dirt. So anyway, that's, that's the, the short of it. Um, kind of my system. So yes, short answer is yes, they do drool. Um, how much is kind of relative to what, you know, the person is kind of subjective. How much is a lot? How much is not a lot? I would say moderate amount. They drool a moderate amount, you know, um, depending on their activity level. So for some people, it's a deal breaker. I know some people who they they cannot deal with the drool whatsoever, so they they won't get this breed. Um, but yeah, like I say, I, I'm not I'm not squeamish. I don't care about the drool, other than it's a little bit more work for me to clean up to keep a clean house. So, anyways, well, I know this video is getting long, so I uh, hope you all having a good night, and we'll catch you on the next one.
Say bye, baby girl. Don't say. Say bye, baby girl. See, she's not really drooling at all. There's my baby girl. Don't say. Lucia. See her? Bring the kibble. <laughs> Bring the kibble for me. Mm-hmm. <laughs>